and welcome to another wonderful episode here at Jaws Podiatry. Case update. This is a young patient that presented to our office with <clears throat> an overriding second toe over the great toe. It's been five days after the procedure. Procedures. Because we also uh, went ahead and performed another procedure on the third toe of the right foot. The patient had a mallet toe, right? This is a hammer toe. And this is sort of like what the mallet toe looks like. It's not like that. So we wanted to straighten out that toe. We got a couple of, we, we got another camera rolling. That's good, now we have two views. Camera A, camera B. Uh, so what we did was, we did a little procedure underneath, I'll show you guys as well, for the toe to be like this. So we straightened the toe. Caesar, come, come from this way first. So, you know, here at Jaws Podiatry, I was just telling the patient, we're very transparent. You know, I'm not the type of person that, well, let's just show the before and the after, and the after will show, you know, we'll show these pictures six months down the line. No, I want people to see everything. We're, we're totally, totally transparent. It's been five days since the procedures, right? So this toe was, and I will attach, again, I will attach the before picture. The before pictures, this toe was on top of this toe, the great toe. Now it's straight. One little stitch here, we were able to actually shave down um, the top portion, right, of the hammer toe. It's extremely swollen. This is totally normal. With every, with time, it will completely deflate. There is no bone there. There's nothing. It's an, it's hollow space. So if I were to, you know, to press down on this, it's like a balloon. But we won't do that. Now, in respect to the third toe, you guys um, can clearly see that the toe is straight. Like an arrow. I'm gonna load the foot a little bit so you guys can get a really better idea. This is how the toe, toes will look once she bears weight on the floor. Okay, and then, the you know, this is, this is just the beginning of what the bandage is gonna really look like, but we do use these splinting techniques to hold everything in, in place, right? Now let's take a look at the bottom. So there's one tiny little suture. There's one tiny little suture right there, and there's one underneath here. So again, the procedures that were performed, we'll say toe straightening, third toe, um, secondary to a flexible mallet toe, not a hammer toe. The hammer toe was actually the second toe, which was overriding the great toe and we were able to do this the patient's walking she's not very happy simply because she's just a very active person on a scale of, it's been five days on a scale of one to ten ten being the worst pain if you want to share with the world anything worst pain three okay super and you know, and on and on this side, we also we also corrected, right, the the hammer toe, but we also shortened it. Okay, so as everyone can see, right, looks beautiful. This is called bruising. That is normal. And you're using this harder? It's sort of like a joke. Okay, Guardian, you want to go to your appointment? As always, www.
Well, before I say that, I will definitely keep everyone afloat on this patient's progress. As always, www.jawspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojan, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day, everyone.